When installing your insincorator, there's a couple of things we can do. We can either connect it directly straight to your uh, waste outlet and have an on and off switch up here or underneath the bench. Or there's another option you can look at. It's the actual air switch. Now they do come supplied standard with two models, the 100 and 200 series. They're included. They come in either chrome or a stainless steel finish. They're supplied with it. If you want to buy it for any of the other models, they are an optional extra uh, and the price is in the accessory listing on the website. And they just install straight into your bench. And what they do is when you want to turn it on and off, hit the air switch here, press the button down, it starts the machine for you, and then continue with the water flowing through the unit and putting continual food scraps down it and it'll help flush it through the system. When you want to turn it off again, just simply press the button again, turns the whole unit completely off. When it comes to installing your waste disposer, select which bowl you want to put your waste disposer unit in. The plumber will then take out the existing plug and waste. Now these must be 90 mil to accept your new waste disposer at the back here. Once he connects it up, um, connect it in here, connect it to your power supply, the plumber will then connect it to your waste drainage outlet. Keep in mind that if you are going to buy a new waste disposer, it won't suit every sink. Now there are some older style sinks with the smaller aperture. Unfortunately, they can't be cut either replace the sink with a, a modern new sink, okay, and then select which bowl you want to store the unit in. Normally we would go in the larger bowl, which is your main wash bowl.